So before I connect up an antenna wire and head out in the field to test this, there's a bench test that I can do to make sure everything's working okay. So to test it, what I can do is put somewhere around a 2.5 kilo ohm resistor between the antenna lead connection and the counterpoise connection. Now in my case, I ended up rummaging around in my junk box. I couldn't find a 2.7 kilo ohm resistor, but I did find a 2.2 kilo ohm and a 220 ohm resistor. I put the two in series, as you can see here, and the total resistance ended up being pretty close to 2.5 kilo ohms. As you can see, I've got one end of my resistors connected up to the counterpoise connection and the other end to the antenna connection. And I've got just enough wire cut here to make the connection. I want to keep this as short as possible. As you can see, I've got the ballon with the resistors in line connected with a patch cord to this SWR meter and in turn connected up to my Yezu FT891. So before I get started with the test, I want to mention I've got my radio turned down to 5 watts. The little resistors I'm using on the ballon for this are only quarter watt resistors and putting any more than about 5 watts of RF power through them will probably cause them to vaporize pretty quickly. So point is, I'm going to keep the power low for this test. I've got the radio tuned to 80 meters and set to AM mode so that when I key the radio, it'll throw a carrier. I've got my old Diamond SX100 meter set up over here. I'm in the 30 watt setting and I've got this switch set to forward so we can measure the output power. So if I key the radio, we should now see that it's putting out 5 watts. So now what I'll do is switch the meter into calibration mode and then I'm going to key it up and turn this control until the needle points to the calibration mark on the right side of the meter. Now I'll set this switch to SWR mode, and when I key up the radio, the meter will show us the SWR. If everything is working correctly with the ballon, the SWR should be 1.5 or lower. And if I key up the radio, you can see we're not getting any meter movement. So that means we're in pretty good shape on 80 meters. I'm gonna set the radio up to 40 meters and we'll check it there. I'll calibrate the meter again, and now we'll check the SWR, and just barely getting some meter deflection there now. Let's try 20 meters and see what that looks like. Okay, and on 20 you can see we're reading about 1.3, and it's looking like we're getting about 1.4 on 10 meters. So this was a pretty fun and easy kit to build. So for people who are even moderately mechanically inclined, I'd guess that this would take two to three hours or so to complete. Now, full disclosure, it took me a little bit longer than that, well, because of the video and trying to explain everything in detail. But I'm not quite done yet. I need to get the antenna wire connected up, I need to get this thing set up out in the yard and test it out, see how it works. So here's a brief look at how I've got the antenna set up for testing. I've got the far end of the antenna up about 20 feet on the surplus military canopy poles. So this is the full length of the wire that's supplied with the kit, about 69 feet or so. Now over here at the feed point end, you can see that I've got just one four foot section of pole with a piece of rope here to support it on the strain relief and the wire going off in that direction. So I'm going to use my MFJ259 analyzer on the antenna before I trim it, just to see where everything is at. So starting off on 10 meters, you can see right at the bottom of the tuning range on the analyzer, we're getting about 1.4 SWR. And if I go up from there, you can see the SWR goes higher. So I've switched ranges on the analyzer, and now I can tune down through into the 11 meter band, and you can see the SWR is best somewhere around 27.7 megahertz. So that tells me the antenna is just a little bit too long. So if I tune down into the 15 meter band, you can see the SWR looks best right around 21 megahertz or so. So again, the antenna is just a touch long. So now taking a look at 20 meters, if I tune down around, Again, the SWR seems best just a little bit below the 20 meter band. So again, that's indicating the antenna needs to be shortened, which we knew it would be. And taking a look at 40 meters, it's the same thing as the other bands. If I tune down kind of low, a little bit below 40 meters, that's where everything looks the best. So I know that the length of wire supplied with the kit is a little bit longer than what we need. So these are the results I was expecting to see on the analyzer. So what I'm going to do now is go to the far end and drop it down so that I can trim a little bit off the length of the antenna and then I'll check it again. And when I trim it, I'm only going to trim a little bit at a time, maybe six to eight inches or so. I don't want to take too much off because it's harder to add length back to the wire than it is to trim it. So I'll go slow and do this a few times until I get the length 
dialed in right where I want it. So here's a look at the far end of the antenna. You can see I'm using this wire clamp that was supplied with the kit to hold the wires together and keep it secure on the end insulator. And then on the other end, I just have some rope to hold it to my pole. So to adjust the length of the antenna for tuning, I basically just have to loosen up this nut on the wire clamp and pull the wire through. So I think I've got the antenna trimmed up right where I want it. You can see it's actually pretty good towards the lower end of the band. And then as I get up to the higher part of the voice band, the SWR starts to creep up a little bit. But it still looks like it's gonna work just fine throughout most of the band. So now if I go up to 20 meters and tune through the band there, you can see everything is looking pretty good, especially in the voice part of the band. So I think we're good there. So if I get up into the 15 meter band, you can see things are actually looking pretty good here too. So now if I tune up through the 10 meter band, you can see at the lower part of the voice portion of the band, you can see SWR is about 1.4, 1.5. If I tune higher, it starts to drop and you can see it's lowest somewhere around 29.2 or so. And that's probably not exactly where we'd like to see the center of the band to be, but it should still be pretty usable across 10 meters. So before I pack the antenna up and take it out on a POTA activation, I'm gonna grab a radio right here and try it in the yard and see what happens. So I've set up my Yezu FT891 and I'm using my BioNO 15 amp hour battery and I'm gonna run the radio at 50 watts transmit power on sideband. I've quickly checked the SWR with the built-in meter in the radio on 40, 20, 15, and 10 meters. And it all looks pretty good, just like what we saw in the antenna analyzer. I'm on 20 meters right now, and I'm going to tune around and see if I can make a few contacts. November 1, November Uniform Golf. November 1, United, uh, November United Golf, thank you very much. 5850, John is my name, Roger. QSL, very thanks very much for the contact. You're 5'9 into Connecticut, 5'9 Connecticut. November 1, November Uniform Golf. Uh, November 1, November Uniform Golf. Thanks for the call. You are 5-4, 54 into Kentucky. QSL? QSL, QSL, you are 3x2, three 3x2 by two, three by two into Connecticut. Seven three and good luck on your activation. N one N U G. November one, November uniform golf. Calling CQ twenty meters and standing by. November zero golf Echo Sierra. November zero golf Echo Sierra. Uh, how you doing? Name here is Rob Romeo Oscar Bravo, and you're probably about a five seven here into Connecticut. I'm actually just testing out a new antenna. Very good, yeah, you're also 5.7. Yeah, I'm just running a, a 20 meter inverted V dipole. Uh, the peak of the dipole is about 30 feet up, and uh, I'm running about 600 watts right now. Oh, okay, well, that's working well for you. I'm only doing 50 watts here. So the antenna seems to be doing pretty good in the yard here. But since this is the ARRL's antenna, I think it's only fitting that we go try it out on a real POTA activation with a few of the ARRL staff. So let's head out, find a park, and see what we can do.